Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Cruising with the Case Adler right here, of course. And we are just about live, okay? Setting up everything here once again. Can't afford an engineer yet, but uh, we'll get there, all right? And even if you could, you wouldn't want them in your house anyway, so what's the difference? You know what, man? You are absolutely right, you know, for multiple reasons, you know? But how are you, how are you all doing this morning? Excellent, excellent. Ex excellent, excellent. All right, cool. Okay. I'm here setting up uh, 93.5. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful, wonderful night. I sure did. Okay. And just want to make sure that we are ready, pumping, and ready to go. Adam? My man. My dubes. What's up? Dubes. What's up? Dubes. Dubes. Everything is up, man. I mean, I've been getting rave reviews on the show and everything, man. So I'm just, I'm just happy. Can you tell on my face right here? Uh, absolutely, man. This is, this is exciting. Uh, you know, I'm looking every night to see the, the wonderful feedback we've had from this show, uh, the views, the comments, the shares, the likes. Uh, you know, this is important and it just shows you uh, this is exactly what everyone needed right now, especially in the mornings. You know, good information, uh, accurate information, honest information and a sincere help, a sincere desire to help the community. Uh, and that's exactly what we're doing. It's all about giving back these days. You know, we're, we're up early, we're broadcasting, we're taking time out of our morning schedules to make sure that the people out there know that there is a law firm, that there's a law firm out there that is willing to help and pitch in, in any way they can. Pollock Pollock, Isaac Tosico, a partner, uh, a firm that I'm proudly a partner of. Um, I run the personal injury practice, uh, Conrad, the maestro Pollock uh, is the managing partner. His father uh, began this firm, uh, you know, almost 60 years ago. And we've been running strong ever since developing uh, further and further to make sure it's a full service law firm to meet all the needs of our clients. We don't like referring cases out because we don't know or can't vouch for a lot of the lawyers out there. We like to keep as much as possible. And that's why we have such a diverse practice group, uh, personal injury, immigration, real estate, uh, estate work, transactional work, uh, appellate work. We have criminal lawyers. We have employment lawyers. We have matrimonial lawyers. Really, there's no reason why anybody out there shouldn't look to our firm first if, God forbid, they're ever in any situation in which they need a good lawyer that's going to treat you hold up, like hold family. Up. Uh, hold up. Can you break down the lawyers that you have again for me? I we've got, that, you know what, they, we've got two, you know, it, it's, you know what they say, when, when you, when you see so, too many lawyers, you, you just run the other way. And that's. No. That's, so I know you got personal injury. I know you've got immigration, criminal defense, criminal defense, real estate. I know real estate. And you also have matrimonial matrimonial. We have employment discrimination. We have a uh, wage and hour uh, attorneys that if you're, working in a restaurant, well, you're not doing that now, but if you're working in a restaurant or working in a store and you're not being paid your overtime, uh, we help with that. Uh, my partner, uh, Fred DeSico, uh, handles wills. He handles trusts and estates. My partner, Brian Isaac, one of the, uh, not to take your, your, your description of, of Nelson, but one of the top guns um, in, in appellate, appellate practice. I think Brian Isaac is, if not the most recognized appellate lawyer in the state, uh, certainly in the city of New York, and it is an honor to have him as part of the the the, the case handler team. That he's the peep, he is the one of the the lifebloods of PPID, um, and one of the reasons why I'm actually with the firm because he was a mentor to me for many many years. So we've really got it all covered, and I I can't stress to you enough how we just strive to do it the right way. There's a much different approach in our law practice than in most other law practice. And it's a top-down approach. It starts with the partners. Um, the partners are lawyers, right? The, it, it's, it's not a, a common thing, but can you imagine a partner of the firm actually being an attorney and doing legal work themselves, going to court, uh, handling cases, writing briefs themselves? Yes, it does happen. It's not always delegating. It's not all about delegating the work. We have top lawyers as partners who are actually handling the work themselves. And I think that is something very special, very unique. And that's why we have, you know, the results we do, because it's just a strive to do it the right way. Absolutely. Adam, if I, could inter if I could interrupt you for a Always. second. 
something you forgot. Um, in addition to the multi uh, practice approach that we have at our firm, uh, we also have various locations. Our main office is in New York City, 225 Broadway, been there forever. Uh, in fact, my dad moved into that building, I believe it was almost 50 years ago to, to the date. Uh, it was 1970, oh, wow. I don't remember the exact date, but we've been in the same building, not on the same floor, uh, but we've been on the third floor now for a good 40 years. We have the entire floor. And that's how we house all these various uh, departments and various lawyers. In addition to that, though, we also have an office up in Westchester County in Peekskill. Uh, we also recently opened an office in Brooklyn, uh, right off McDonald Avenue, um, Avenue I, and uh, centrally located. Buses stopping on both sides of the streets. Uh, the train station stops right there, although I don't recall which, which, what our stop is offhand, a mental block. But... Um, we have a very conveniently located uh, Brooklyn office that um, we just got off the ground only recently. Uh, in addition to all of that, um, one of the, uh, I think, especially these days, one of the most important uh, things that we offer to the public is uh, a breakdown of current events. Uh, I don't know how many people uh, were listening to or were on twi Twitter last night or listening to the TV this morning to hear the, our, our president's latest executive order banning all immigration to the United States. Um, he hasn't issued it yet, but he is about to issue an executive order basically telling everybody that uh, the U.S. is closed for business and not accepting any immigrants at all. Uh, and the pretext, of course, is that uh, immigrants are coming in and not only bringing disease with them, but um, also it's stealing jobs from Americans. And now that there were 22 million Americans unemployed, we don't need any immigrants. Now that's what our administration is claiming. Obviously, that's a bunch of nonsense. Um, but- No, Conrad, uh, uh, yeah. Maestro, um, if, uh, and I want everyone, stop for a second there. I want everyone out there, this is breaking news. And this is a huge, huge comment that Conrad, our immigration attorney, Maestro is talking about. This is very important to everybody. So turn up your radios, a bit of informa immigration information that every single one needs to actually know. I was going to jump to calls and jump to that, but this is actually very important for the immigrant community. So Conrad, if you may, please repeat what it is that you just said in reference to what our president um, noted recently sure. last night. Well, last night he indicated that he was that Trump was going to issue an executive order banning all immigration to the United States temporarily. Uh, and again, the pretext is that um, we're closing the borders, closing the airports to all outsiders. And, and there, there hasn't been issued yet, so we don't know the details. Right. right. Basically, nobody's allowed to come in. The reason being there that everyone coming in might be bringing the virus with them, and also that immigrants are coming and taking jobs that the 22 million Americans that are currently here that are unemployed would otherwise take. Um, now, this is just the latest uh, example of what the administration has tried to do in the past three and a half years to close our borders and, and to use the immigrant community as a scapegoat and blame the immigrants for anything he can think of. Um, again, the, the order hasn't been issued yet. Uh, it's coming. We don't know the details. Uh, no doubt it'll be attacked in court. No doubt there'll be at least a temporary injunction. Um, but it is something to be concerned about, and uh, uh, the immigrant community, I mean, it's a direct attack on the immigrant community, and it's just beginning today, and you're going to hear a lot about it going forward, as we as will we. Wow. Um, Nelson, you're, you're, you're in the immigration capacity. What, what's your comment on this um, thing that our president mentioned? I call it thing because I, I can't even find the right adjective to describe it. Um, I think it's unfortunate, um, you know, but it is what it is. And I think this exemplifies and underscores the climate that we're in. You know, I think this is why it's so important to, you know, as Adam says regularly, to have someone on your side um, who is basically up to date on the law, on the changes, on, you know, obviously new policy coming into effect. Um, it's, it's very important, you know? The other thing that I want to add to this, and um, all of you, uh, Adam Handler, Conrad Pollock, Nelson Madrid, respectively the case handler, Maestro and Maverick, um, with all of this happening, we know, we know how unpredictable our president can be. 
the individuals who are here in the United States who are out of status and have not done anything or have not been working on getting anything done or finding out what can be done, what do you all have to say to those individuals? Because a lot of people may be complacent, may be relaxed in this atmosphere, but I do believe that one of the things that should be you know, very high on our list when it comes to priority is our immigration status or our status here in the United States. What do you have to say to them, Adam? I'm sorry, I was I was listening to something else uh, following up with respect to the, the, the press conference that he's doing later today and I wanted to chime in. Can you say the question again, Squeeze? No, pretty much. I was just saying with all the, all of the immigrants who are here in the United States who have not who have not acted or done anything about their status, shouldn't they actually jump on getting something done or find out what can be done now well, with an we, attorney? We, we've been saying that all along, Squeeze. And, and knowledge is power. Information is power. You've always stressed that. Um, there's a lot of things that obviously can't be done right now, but there are a lot of things that can be done. And that's uh, laying the groundwork for, you know, naturalizing and laying the groundwork to, <laughs> you know, becoming, you know, uh, down the down the road to uh, becoming uh, a productive uh, in status member of this society. So that's why we're doing this show. I mean, it's not a coincidence that we're all of a sudden we're 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 touting our immigration practice. It's because we know this is what the community needs right now. This we know this is what case handler clients are are begging for. You know, information and what we're doing, and and we've been stressing this every day since we've been uh, bringing on Conrad and Nelson is that the information right now is absolutely free. We are not charging for information, and it's not just limited to this show and the calls that come in and the WhatsApp messages and the Facebook comments. It's consultations as well because we know that not everybody wants to be on the radio and we know that some situations to require a little more in-depth analysis as to how, if and how we can help you. So we're saying right now, if you call the case handler number, PPID, right? 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW, you will be connected to good lawyers giving you great advice absolutely free but you must mention the show you must mention squeeze the case handler even mention the maestro or or, or maverick those are the codes no, i'm gonna interrupt you right there if a client if, if a interested party calls and wants to speak to me they have to address me as the maestro okay? <laughs> <laughs> sir maestro but but all can so be aside you, you know office, you, you talk to my reception you should say i need to have an appointment to speak with the maestro i'm there there you go. There you go. So once again, people, as Adam is noting, um, if you're out there, you're out of status or you know of someone who's out of status, I was even mentioning earlier that the law firm speaks Spanish. We've got Nelson Madrid. He speaks Spanish, which is great. So we're truly Actually, I do as well. Service. Oh, I you speak do? Spanish too. I do. Oh, wow. I, I didn't know that. Yes, See? Hablo Espanol también. See? Oh, Adam. We, we got to get up on our, our, our languages, man. Come on. My you know? We'll let them translate for us when we all go to Mexico. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's what makes it such a, a great panel. And that's why I'm so proud that the four of us are on here on Facebook, on here on 93.5 Live, uh, you know, talking immigration, talking personal injury, talking about the things that matter most to the listeners. You know, that's the most important thing we can do right now is just get the information out and let people know we're here to help. We're here to contribute. We're here to give back. The community has embraced me over the years uh, to an unbelievable degree, a, a true blessing from God. And, and, and I really believe that the best thing we can do right now is, is give back. And that's why we're on the radio an extended portion of time in the morning. We're continuing on Facebook for an extra half hour. We're taking immigration calls for free. We're giving immigration consults for free. And you're actually speaking to the attorneys themselves not a messaging service. You're speaking to partners of law firms that are taking time out of their day to answer your immigration questions with absolutely nothing in it for us. The only thing we hope is that if there's an issue we can help you with, that you're gonna look to us to be your attorneys, that you're gonna look to us to solve your legal issues, to give you those honest solutions to your real legal problems. And that goes to immigration, you know, everything we discussed, personal injury, you know, there's not a lot of accidents happening right now, which is a great thing. I say it all the time. I'm the worst businessman in the world. I'm thrilled I have no business because people are out there staying at home, being safe. But there's going to come a time 
in which the jobs start opening up, in which society starts functioning again in its normal routine, and people are going to be texting. People are going to be running stop signs. People are going to be hitting pedestrians. I read somewhere that in New York City the past month, we've had the least amount of pedestrian fatalities uh, in our history, which is an unbelievable thing because nobody's on the road. Construction sites are slowing down, so there's thankfully not a lot of construction accidents, but these things will happen again. It's, it's almost unfortunately guaranteed. And as long as we've laid the, found, the, the groundwork and as long as we've let everybody out there know who to call if, God forbid, you know what goes wrong, then we've done our job over these next however many weeks that we're doing this show live every morning. But again, you must have the number saved. We don't call you. It's impossible. If you have an immigration issue, we're not calling you because we don't know about it. If you get into an accident, I'm not waiting in the emergency room or chasing ambulances uh, like a lot of people claim personal injury attorneys do. You must have our number, 844 PPID law. Can't be any easier to remember. 844 PPID law numbers for great lawyers that are willing to help you out. Absolutely. Once again, folks, I'm here with the attorneys, Adam Handler, your personal injury attorney, Conrad Pollock and Nelson Madrid. And we are here talking on immigration. I'm going to have Conrad quickly reiterate um, what he heard from the president. And also there's something that he wanted to talk about and stress on from yesterday. So it's very important for those people who may have overstayed on their visa. But right now, this is the cruising with the case handler. And we want for you dial this number right now. You never know when you're going to get into an accident, a slip and fall, construction accident, medical malpractice. If you need immigration help right now, right this second, if you need to have an immigration question answered, 100% free, maybe you don't want to be on air, but you want to do it off air, call the number and they'll give you that consultation absolutely free. But you've got to call right this second and mention my name, Conrad Nelson or Adam. The number to call is 844 844- 774-3529. Dial it now. Get your green card questions answered. Get your out of status questions answered. Your conditional uh, visa question answered. Conditional green card rather answered. Your O visas, your K visas, whatever it may be. Maybe you're in removal proceedings. All right. Maybe you know someone who's still in lockup. Okay. And need help in respect for the fact that they're probably going to get deported. You need the law firm PPID, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and the Seco. But you've got to dial the number now. Once again, every single one that's tuning into the station, text this number to someone that you know may need help when it comes to immigration and tell them also the story for personal injury. I, David Squeezanaki, endorse, well, you already know, I endorse Adam Handler. And now I endorse the firm itself, a full service law firm that's been around for 50 years. Here's the number, dial it. If you don't need it now, let it ring 15, 20 seconds. You may or will need it in the future, considering all the capacities that they mentioned earlier about what it is that they do with law. The number is 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. Every human being being needs a good attorney. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Conrad, I'll let you quickly... Reiterate what the president said. And also, of course, you wanted to talk about the fact that many people may have overstayed due to the coronavirus and they don't know what to do or what they should do or if they should do anything. Sure. Uh, Well, again, last night, uh, the president tweeted that he was going to be issuing an executive order, uh, basically banning all immigrants and closing all the borders, uh, banning immigration for a temporary period due to the coronavirus. the the coronavirus outbreak, and also as a way to um, uh, keep jobs open for the for the 22 million or so Americans that are currently unemployed. Um, The uh, order hasn't been issued. We don't know the details. Nobody knows the specifics yet, just that it is coming. um, Or so he says, you you never know with him, maybe he'll change his mind today. Uh, But when it does, uh, when it is issued, um, I I have no doubt it's going to be attacked in, in court, and it'll, I'm sure be, there'll be a preliminary injunction at least. Um, one more thing, um, at least my own opinion, I don't know that it's going to make that much of a difference in the short term. Basically, basically the way things are right now, um, the, the, the borders are closed uh, because, of, uh, because of this situation right now. Immigration is closed. Uh, 
the, at the border, people that are trying to enter uh, illegally are being turned away. Um, most consulate, consulate posts outside the United States are closed. In fact, I believe all of them are closed, um, except for emergency services for U.S. citizens. So I, I don't know that, in, at least in the short term, it's going to make much of a difference. My concern is more longer term, because my guess is if he's, if he's successful in, in getting this through, and it becomes effective. I don't think he's going to be in a rush to reopen the borders, uh, but you know that remains to be seen. Other than that, um, a common question that we've been getting these days, again related to everything I'm just talking about, is um, has, has to do with people that are here came with visas. Typically, when you enter with a tourist visa, which is what, really what I'm talking about, and you enter with a tourist visa, typically the immigration service allots you six months to remain in the United States. Uh, in order to extend that stay, you need to submit an application to the Immigration Service, um, or you need to leave before that time. Now, a lot of people that might have been planning to depart couldn't because the flights were canceled, uh, or uh, who knows, there are myriad reasons. Uh, but if that's the case, uh, you need to submit an application to extend your stay. Typically, the Immigration Service these days will exercise some degree of leniency, uh, so long as you can demonstrate the reason why you need to extend your stay. And my guess is um, we've been putting a lot of applications like that in currently. We haven't received any responses yet. But my guess is as long as you supply a reason why you can't leave, that your flight was canceled, that there are no flights back to your country, I'm pretty confident that that'll get you through. Um, in, in addition to that, if you're sick or if you are caring for a close relative who's, who, who's sick, you have to demonstrate that. And if you can provide that documentation, I think you can get an extension uh, even in a situation where your stay may have, might have expired recently. I'm not saying if your, stay, if your visa expired six months ago, it's going to work. But if you were unsure a week or two uh, ago and, and that you could still apply, uh, even though your visa expired a few weeks ago, it's worth a shot. Uh, maintaining legal status is more important than ever. Once you let your current visa lapse and you overstay your visa, basically there is no way to legalize your status in the United States going forward other than to get married. So it's a really important thing that you maintain lawful status. So even for those people that their uh, temporary visas might have expired recently in the past month, let's say, it's certainly worth a, a, a shot at submitting an application, seeking an extension after the fact. As long as you have proof to show why you couldn't leave, you have a very good chance of getting approved. All right. Okay. Wow. Uh, a very, very, very good and solid information there from the attorney, Conrad Pollock, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, if you have questions on immigration, call the firm directly, get a free consultation. The number is 844-PPID-LAW. That's 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Before we kick it over to Adam for a quick um, testimony, um, let me give you a quick rather question here. Um, Nelson, you may want to take this one. Someone um, texted you and said, I have a friend in a toxic relationship married and waiting for her green card but the husband keep threatening her about not going to the interview saying she need him he don't need her can she get help out of this situation i would need more facts um but based on what i'm hearing it sounds like she may be eligible for uh what's called vawa which again is the violence against women act yeah um, but I would definitely recommend she speak to uh, an immigration attorney. Um, squeeze, if I can, I just got a email. Uh, hearings in non-detained cases are postponed through May 15th. So that means anyone who has an immigration court proceeding through May 15th will be rescheduled. So basically, there is no immigration court on non-detained cases through May 15th. Okay. Once again, folks, cruising with a case handler, giving you the information, a lot of information this morning, and I'm loving it. And once again, it's very important also to call the firm. Once again, remember, your consultation is free with the attorney. And when you ask the questions here, we may not have enough information from you to answer the question the way it should be answered. All right. So once again, we must let you know that, of course, you know, over the airwaves is not legal advice until you actually sit with them and they can get all the questions out of you, all right? So once again, do remember, call this number now, pass the number on, text it to someone, email it to someone. It's a very powerful number. It's a number where attorneys actually will respond to you quickly. We've got our top personal injury attorney, in my opinion, Adam Handler, for the immigrant community and beyond, the case handler. 
We've got Conrad Pollock. We've got Nelson Madrid handling immigration and more. So once again, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. If you're in a, a marriage and you want to get out of it, call my friends at PPID. If you get in trouble with the law, call my friends at PPID. They've got criminal defense attorneys. Immigration personal injuries, what we discuss, 8.30 weekdays right here and at 7 o'clock on Saturday p.m. and Sundays at 12 noon. Make the call now. Store the number. Very important. Dial it now. You will get a free consultation with the attorneys on immigration or even personal injury. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Dial the number. Store it. You may not need it now, but actually store it in your phone for when you need it. 844-774-3529. Adam? My man, listen, you know, before we get to the top of the hour, again, I, I want to thank you uh, for, for having our team on. You know, we've been stressing for years and years now, uh, you know, about how effective and important having a, a good personal injury attorney is. You know, you got one chance and we, we say it all the time. There are no redos. One chance, one choice. I'm your case handler. Uh, I can only hope that you would consider me if, God forbid, you or your family are ever in a terrible situation in which you need to fight for financial justice if you've been the victim of negligence, medical bills, time out of work, compensation for your injury. Terrible things I know, but this is reality. These things happen. Uh, I wouldn't have it helped does. thousands and thousands of people obtain over $100 million um, if this was just some kind of uh, you know, uh, blustering uh, advertisement that you need a personal injury lawyer. Unfortunately, there are circumstances you do. We handle it different than everybody else. And I truly hope that you look to us if God forbid you're ever in that situation. Again, Adam Handler, the case handler at PPID, 844-774-3529. And after we flip over the top of the hour, join us on Facebook uh, and we'll do a, a testimonial about it, an important case I think everybody in this panel would be able to relate to. Absolutely. Once again, folks, cruising with the case handler, we talk on personal injury. We talk on immigration. We have real live attorneys right here. Store this number, 844-774-3529. As I said yesterday and the day before and every single day, I personally do not believe anything lasts forever. Changes come about. We never knew that we would be in this situation called a pandemic where the world literally has shut down. So if you're out there and you're listening to me, dial this number, give it to someone who needs immigration help. It's free, the consultation that is. The personal injury, once again, they work on a contingent basis. Dial this number now, let it ring 15, 20 seconds, and of course, store it in your phone. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. And of course, we're on the other side, gentlemen. It's time to get rocking and rolling. Before we get to the testament, let me squeeze in this one because I know people will kick my ass if I don't, all right? Absolutely. And they beat me up, you know? Can a sister who is a citizen file for someone who is out of status without that person going back to their home country? Thank you guys for doing a great job. Not a chance. Not Basically, a chance. if the, uh, like again, we're talking about what's called the fourth preference family-based case, sibling for sibling. U.S. citizen sibling applying for uh, the brother or sister who's in the United States illegally. Um, first off, that case is going to take a good 10 to 15 years to complete from beginning to end. Secondly, at the end of the process, that person, uh, the beneficiary, is going to have to go back to the country to process their case. In addition, another problem is because that person had been in, has been in the country illegally for whatever period of time uh, that he or she has, um, he's going to need a waiver. Um, basically, um, the, the law is, in a nutshell, if you're in the United States illegally, you overstay your visa, you enter the border illegally without inspection, um, you're... Um, you're, you, in order to get your green card, you must go back to your country. No, very few exceptions. Um, very and this few. is certainly not one of them. But in order to get that waiver, in addition, you have to demonstrate that you have a spouse or a parent who is a permanent resident or a U.S. citizen who would suffer what's called extreme hardship uh, if you had to leave the country. Now, a sister for a sister, brother for brother, based on what I'm hearing now, there is no spouse relationship. There is no parent relationship. In that case, there's no waiver under the current law, in which case there's no case. So that person 
you know, if they were to come to us, this is exactly what I would tell them. Unless there is a spouse there, unless maybe they have a parent who's legally in the United States, there is no case there. So I wouldn't even do it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Once again, folks, cruising with a case handler right here. Yes, truly, David Squeeze Adeke, Conrad Pollock, Nelson Madrid, and Adam Handler. All right. Quick one. and Quick immigration one again. Let me just knock these out. By the way, folks, I come on at 6 a.m. each and every single weekday on 93.5 FM until 9 a.m. I'm always plugging the show. I'm you know, because I want the show to grow beyond the scale of just the tri-state area. I want it to be all over the world, which it is because of Facebook and because of the case handler and the PPID page. And we, I want everyone, regardless of race, creed, color, religion, to understand that this is a solid law firm, ready, willing, and able to help. So I give out my numbers in the morning for people to text me and WhatsApp their questions to me, and I'll squeeze them in with the attorneys if time permits. All right, here's another one. If you want to travel on a letter, you get to work and travel from, it says UNCIS, but I guess that's USCIS, while waiting on 10-year green card. Is it true that you need a stamp to travel? And a lawyer did the paperwork, and the, and the lawyer has to give you a letter to go to USCIS for a stamp? It's very convoluted, I know. So, I Say I that again. Let me try to decipher it one All more right. time, slowly. It says, <laughs> if you want to travel on a letter that you got to work, um, I guess from tra they're talking about tra that, I know what they're talking about. Advanced parole. Go ahead. Okay. And travel from it says UNCIS, but I think that's USCIS, right? Right. While waiting on ten year green card. Right. Is it true that if that if you need a stamp to travel and lawyer did paperwork, the lawyer has to give you a letter to go to USCIS for a stamp? I, what it sounds like is this person has an application for adjustment of status pending. Maybe they're married or something, or it's a business-related situation. And they've applied for what's called advanced parole. Advanced parole is permission to travel outside the United States while your case is pending here in the U.S. The, the, the usual situation is if you have your case, if you filed through your marriage uh, for adjustment of status and you're waiting for your appointment, you can't leave the country. If you do, you abandon your case. So you lose everything. That's a bad thing to do. So what people do is they apply for advanced parole, which is permission to travel outside the U.S. while the case is pending. That sounds like what they're talking about. They need an approval from the Immigration Service, which I guess is a letter or a stamp, as this person is referring to. With that letter, they can leave the United States and come back in legally. That's probably what he's talking about. But they do need that paper to take with them. They cannot go without it. So if the lawyer has it, the lawyer should give it to them, I would assume. Gotcha. Um, this 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 guy here, uh, Nelson had says, you know, this is a friend of mine. You know, he texts me on my direct number. Uh, he says, um, "Well, who we have to charge would... him then?" <laughs> and he gets charged double. Yeah, he, he said he <laughs> no said free he had, for this guy. Yeah, he said he had a couple of drug convictions and he got turned down for uh, uh, good moral character. He says, "Can can he reply, reapply?" So again, um, one of the things I would recommend is he schedule, you know, uh, he, he try to meet with an attorney in person and bring with him all certificates of dispositions and criminal complaints. Um, you know, obviously without necessarily knowing, you know, the quantity, uh, the right. specifics of each conviction, I can't really give an opinion. Um, but, you know, it all depends, you know, just, while we're on the air, I'm not sure if you know, but Brooklyn has uh, vacated, dismissed, and expunged all minor marijuana possession convictions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I think the other boroughs may be following, but I know Brooklyn, when you request a disposition, it's something I've seen recently. Um, if it's a marijuana possession, um, again, that's been expunged, dismissed, or vacated, and it literally says on the disposition. Um, so, you know, obviously possession of marijuana is becoming, uh, less, less strict. Yeah. Right. So, you know, a lot depends, you know, and, but, but these big, um, situation, big convictions that they have, such as the drugs and the guns, they actually have to be vacated, not expunged. Right. For well, you know, it's right? difficult. It's actually very difficult to do that in New York as well. Um, it's my understanding, you know, you can try there's a lot of people who sell dreams, okay? We're not in the business of selling dreams, okay? Right. To get something vacated in New York, especially a conviction or get it expunged is my understanding near impossible. Um, again, I work with many criminal defense attorneys who I've asked this uh, 
you know, question several times. And that's pretty much the answer I've been given. Um, but again, it all depends. There's a big difference between sale and possession, you know, also obviously the quantity. Um, and again, this is one of the reasons why, you know, anytime you apply for a benefit before immigration, it's discretionary. So, you know, in Spanish, again, there's a saying, one thing is to call the devil, another thing is to see him appear. Before you file anything, if you've ever been arrested, I would strongly encourage you speak to an immigration attorney regarding the consequences of, you know, proceeding with an immigration case, again, when you have a criminal history. So it's not something necessarily black and white. It's something very complicated. There's a lot of people who find themselves in removal proceedings because they are permanent residents with a gun conviction, a drug conviction. Um, and, you know, again, they basically tried to do this on their own without speaking to an attorney and all of a sudden they're facing removal. Um, so it's not something that's, I can't give you a, a, a short and brief answer. Again, it's something gotcha. I would need a lot more information. Best that he actually call you. You know, if I right. could jump, if I could just jump in there as well, something you just said, Nelson, that uh, just hit a nerve with me. Um, we also see a lot of people that are considering applying for citizenship that have their green cards for 10, 20, 30 years. And somewhere back in their past, there's a criminal offense. They just, uh, they maybe, maybe it was a gun charge. Maybe it was a, a, a small drug charge. They got their green cards anyway, and they've been here forever. People like that, depending on how severe that conviction or possibly multiple convictions were, it could be dangerous for that person to apply for U.S. citizenship. Um, even though they got their green card, even though right. it was 20, 30 years ago, yep. that person comes in and applies for citizenship these days, they could be causing themselves a lot of trouble. So what yeah. we, you know, we have many clients that have come to us because they know us and, and been dealing with us for years. Um, they come to us before they apply for citizenship and they ask us, hey, should we do this? Can we do this? And very frequently after we do our search of what the crimes were, what they were convicted of, we often tell them, no, if you do, you'll find yourself not only losing your green card, but you'll find yourself in removal proceedings and immigration will try to deport you. So that's something that people out there really need to be aware of, all right? Just because you've got a green card doesn't mean you're automatically going to become a U.S. citizen. There are various pitfalls that you can encounter. Another reason to give us a call. Right. And also, just to add to that, a lot of people who have green cards and have been traveling and they know they have had convictions in the past and they never got stopped. And then right. all of a sudden, boom, you got stopped. You're in right. deportation, removal proceedings. That's right. we, get a lot, we get a lot of calls like that. Yeah. So what, once again, folks, this is what I'm talking about. This is the reason why we love this show. This is the reason why we wanted this show on 93.5 WVIP 830 every weekday. You can tune in, ladies and gentlemen. You can check it out. OK, Adam Handler, the case handler, Conrad Pollock, the maestro, Nelson Madrid, the maverick. We are here as a team with yours truly, David Squeeze Anarchy. And this we're going to share with the world. Hence the reason why we ask for you to share this on all the pages, groups and your timelines. The number, however, is the important part, 844-774-3529. Dial that number, store that number in your phone, 844-774-3529. Adam, let's talk personal injury. Let's talk a true success story. I know Absolutely. that you want me to actually give you access to the uh, to the uh, screen now. So you I know I you want it. You know I want it. Yeah, you got it. All right. So there you go. And I, I'm very impressed with how many people are still checking out the show. So I'm very happy that people are actually sharing the page, share it on all the platforms that you know, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I'm here with Pollock, Pollock, I second the sequel. I'm elated. I'm happy. We're doing this for the community, the immigrant community and beyond immigration, personal injury. Let's talk personal injury as you dial the number 844-774-3529 to store it. That's 844-774-3529. And he opens up the page, the case handler. And the first thing I saw was $5 million settlement. Okay. Can you imagine if you get hurt in an accident, ladies and gentlemen, and you don't have the right attorney? Come on. Case handler, take it away. Yeah. Uh, a case that, um, you know, I'm really proud of and it was important to us as a firm um, was a case that we settled uh, a little over a year ago. Um, you know, everybody that's on Facebook right now, and obviously if you're hearing us, you are on Facebook, but uh, you should be connected to my practice. You should be connected to PPID's practice and what we do with the personal injury department. You know, we do some truly amazing things, life-changing money for life-changing injuries. And of course, all this money is 
100% tax-free. But, but a case that uh, I'm super proud of uh, is this one right here. Um, this was, uh, we're not using your real name, but Daisy um, was an immigration paralegal. Uh, one uh, of the paralegals that worked very closely with Nelson Madrid uh, and Conrad Pyle on a daily basis. And I remember one night uh, she said, Adam, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, next day she didn't come into work and Conrad calls me and says, we got a problem. Um, let's call her Daisy. Daisy was uh, hit by a, a bus while crossing the street, walking home. She was in the crosswalk with the, with, with the walk sign and the bus was making a left turn turn, not paying attention to pedestrian traffic and hit her. Uh, she was in the hospital for about a month. Uh, she had uh, fractures um, to her pelvis. She had fractures to her lumbar spine, uh, did not require surgery, um, but for a while was, was, was real, real banged up. Um, and it, it was something that we knew we had to snap into action. Uh, we would do this for any client. But knowing that it was one of our own, knowing it was truly family of the firm, uh, we took uh, an aggressive approach. The lawsuit was filed within a couple of days. And I remember um, the bus uh, company trying to you know, maneuver their way um, out of having to pay big money on this, removed it to federal court. So now we're in uh, federal court in the Eastern District in Brooklyn and, and the judge comes out and you know, talks, we talk a little bit about the case about how the accident happened and what the injuries are. And the, the, the judge asked me and he goes, if you, you don't mind, you know, uh, how, do you, how do you know, you know, how did this client come to you? And I said, this client was a paralegal of our firm and we will not stop until we get everything she's entitled to and even a little bit more. And the judge looked at me and says, wow, that's uh, pretty incredible. And the judge looked at the other side, the, the, the lawyer for the bus company and said, man, you, you hit the wrong person. <laughs> you, you guys you are going to be cut out for you. <laughs> you hit the man, you, you, you hit the wrong person. And, and that's exactly what happened. And, and we got almost $2 million for that. Um, we made the strategic decision not to delay and, and get the money to her. That's why we left about $100,000 off the insurance policy. But that was a joint decision made between everybody. And, and a case that we're so proud of because we, we helped the client, but we also helped family. And I, I do pledge to you, and I mean this with all sincerity, that once you become a case handler client, you are family. That is how we, that is the approach we take in my department, you'll have my cell phone number, you'll have my email address, you'll be able to reach myself or my team 24 hours a day. And in fact, we always say, you go to the website, what's the first thing you see on we the left? We treat our clients like family. Exactly. We could be toting the, the tens and tens and tens and tens of millions of dollars, big, big money for our clients that we've received. But to me, the most important thing is the message that we send as a first impression. And when you log on to the casehandler.com, the first impression you're gonna get is a lawyer that cares, a lawyer that's not gonna treat you like a file, that's gonna treat you like family because you only have one chance, one chance, one choice, your case handler. And uh, just thank you for the time today, Squeeze. It was a great show. Absolutely. No, thank you guys. I mean, our I don't know, what is this, fourth, fifth show that we've all done this together? And it's it's great. It's phenomenal. Um, I really appreciate what it is that you guys are doing for the community. You all didn't have to come out and start offering free consultation. It's a wonderful and a phenomenal gesture, especially in a time like this with the pandemic going on and everything else happening around us. It's, it's great. It's phenomenal. And I'm quite sure that the communities out there appreciate what it is that you, Nelson Madrid, Conrad Pollock, and Adam Handler is doing. And uh, we're definitely going to be here and we're going to be sharing this information with as many people as possible when it comes to personal injury, immigration, real estate, criminal defense, matrimonial, and uh, more. And uh, obviously, and whenever you guys let me know, uh, when you all want to bring on the other attorneys, I would love to also have them on the show. So just yes, let please. us know. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, as Adam said earlier, knowledge is power. Yes. Um, and... So many people are, especially in the immigration field, you know, and, I, and again, I've been doing this now. Um, I've been a lawyer since 1985 and I've never done anything but immigration. As I've said previously, my dad was in practice before me. So I grew up with immigration. I mean, it's in my blood. Uh, it's in my family. Um, and knowledge really is power. And I see so often, and I've seen through the years, 
how people come in, say, oh, I heard this from this person, or I heard that from this person. He has a, a notary office down a block from me, and he said, I can do this, and I can do that. Yeah. And no, I mean, you're shaking your head, and you're absolutely right. I mean, you've seen yeah. it too. You've heard yep. it a million times. Yep. So that's another reason why we're here and why we're doing this, because now more than ever, you know, if you do, if you get the wrong advice, if you take the wrong move, you make the wrong move, uh, it, it could lead to such dire consequences that just can be life changing. Yes. And look, that's always been the case, right? But never, never more than it is today. All right. And again, going back to what I, what, what the president just you know proposed doing last night. You know, it just, it's it just, if I were an immigrant, I, I would be frightened about exactly. the future. I would be, I literally would be frightened about the future and what's it, what's it in store and, you know, what's going to be, God forbid he gets reelected and we have another four years. I mean, God only knows what's going to yeah. happen. So somebody out there who doesn't have the green card, who might be on the verge of violating their status. They really need, whether they call us, whether they call somebody else, they really need to get a lawyer and, and, and get proper legal advice because again, knowledge is power. Uh, I, I, can't stress that, I can't stress that enough. Conrad Pollock, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually going to use this. I want to edit this out and use this on the radio uh, because that that was very powerful right there. Once again, hey, folks, you got the on part where he says if you can also use another wire, though. <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm going to take that out. You don't have to tell me that. You know me, Adam. Get like, it get right that the first time. Get That's that the out of here. You don't get want it. to use any other attorney. Get it right the first time. There are no redos. Like he said, there could be life changing consequences. Get it right the first time. Time. And by the way, I, as I always say, get a tan. Take action now. Stop putting it off. Take action now, ladies and gentlemen. So many things happening. Right now, we all should be frightened if we're an immigrant or in that position, okay, and out of status. We should be. We don't know what this president is capable of. We don't know what's coming down the pike. With everything that's happening, what's going to happen to you? I say, call PPID. The number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Conrad. Thank you, Adam. Looking forward in catching up with you again, 8.30 a.m. weekdays, 7 p.m. Saturdays, and 12 noon on Sundays on 93.5 WVIP-FM. Make sure you check it out. It's a very powerful show. Bring your questions here on the show. Uh, place them on Facebook page, the Case Handler, PPID, or David Squeeze Anarchy. Or you can, of course, WhatsApp me as you've been doing at the 212 Or please, privately and confidentially, it's free, 100% free. Call the law firm. Call them now once you get off Facebook. The number is 844-774-3529. Call them right now when you get off 93.5. If you're listening now, 844-774-3529. These are the attorneys, in my opinion, for 93.5 FM listeners and beyond. So make sure you reach out to them. Thank you, Case Handler. Thank you, of course, for choosing cruising with the Case Handler. Thank you, gentlemen. It's been great. Thank you. Our pleasure. Must add this. This has been an attorney advertisement brought to you by the law firm of Pollock, Pollock, Isaac, and DeSico. Prior results do not guarantee similar outcome. However, make sure you choose PPID. And of course, the case handler himself. The number is 844-774-3529.